Hello and welcome you wonderful people. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the Strapi's preview feature in your Strapi backend application and your Next.js frontend. Before jumping into the code and the detailed walkthrough of how to set it up, you can actually check out the preview feature easily by going to strapi.io website, click start your demo, and here you'll be able to add your basic information and click access live demo. This is going to take few seconds to provision the demo for you that you could try out. Once the demo is provisioned, you'll have all the details that you need, but you could click on the front end URL, and this will take you to your Next.js project that's being powered by Strapi 5. And if you click in the back end URL, this is going to take you to the admin sign in where you're already going to have all the credentials pre-filled. So click on login. And here, if you navigate to your content manager, take a click on articles, and click one of the articles, you're going to see this preview button. This is gonna go ahead and take you to the preview where you could see your published and your draft articles. But in this video, I'm going to walk you through all the detailed steps on how to set this up yourself in your Next.js project with Strapi. In this video, we're going to take a look how to implement our Strapi preview feature. Here's a basic start a project that I'm going to use to teach you on how to set this up in your Next.js project. But first, let's take a look at an example. Here, if I select a single blog post, we could see our published blog post on our website. But what if I wanted to preview the changes that I'm making? So here in Strapi, when we navigate to our content manager, take a look at the articles, clicking on beautiful picture, here you could see that we have open preview functionality. And this is exactly what I'm gonna show you how to set up. But when we click on the button, we're going to see that we have a draft state of our article available, or we could see the published version, which is kind of nice. So if I wanted to make a change here, let's say draft and save, notice I didn't publish the change. If I go back to preview, you could see that we have a draft view, so your editors could see how your article would look on your website in draft mode, or they could compare it to the published version. And this is exactly what we're going to take a look at. To just make sure that we only cover the important parts, I have the starter code for you that has a basic application with a basic blog list and detailed blog view. If you take a look at the main branch, this is our starter code, but it also has the branch for the final code with everything completed. So today I'm gonna to show you how to set up our preview. So the first thing we wanna do, we're going to go ahead and click on the code button. I'm gonna use GitHub CLI, but you could just do git clone and clone this repo. If you scroll down, you will also find this readme file that walks you through the steps and the code snippets that I'm gonna use as reference that you're gonna see that I used to create this project. So if you feel like you're lost, you could always take a look at this readme file or there's going to be a accompanying blog post that will be linked in the description below. I'm gonna go ahead and clone the repo and I'm gonna put it into my demo app directory. Now I'm gonna CD into my demo app directory, run clear, and to easily set it up, this has a helper script in our package.json file. So go ahead and run yarn setup. This is gonna go ahead and install all the dependencies and copy the environmental variables. Once this is done, I'm gonna run clear again, and we're going to type yarn seed, another helpful command, that's gonna seed our basic data. Go ahead and press yes. Once all the files have been seeded, we could run yarn dev in the root of the project to start both our front end and our back end. Our Strapi application is gonna start at localhost 1337. Go ahead and create your first admin user. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And because we are running locally, the password here is not as important. So monkey1234 seems to be the most secure password. So go ahead and do that. Once you're here, you could click on your content manager. You could take a look at the articles. If you select one of your articles, you're gonna notice that we no longer have that preview button available here for us like we've seen in the demo. And if you navigate to localhost 3000, you will see our demo application, which has our list of our articles. And if you click on an article, we will be taken to the detailed view. And 
like I mentioned before, what we want to be able to do is to enable our preview button to allow your content editors to easily preview your content. In the repo, I mentioned you're going to have the readme file and some of the good important reads to have that we used for that I used as resources is our strappy preview docs that you can find in the documentation that walks all the detailed steps that I'm going to walk you through to make this easier to set up the preview. But this way, you could at least have it as reference. And then we also have how to set up the draft mode in Next.js, which is something we're using in order to figure out if our article is in draft mode or in publish mode in order to fetch it from our Strapi instance. And both of these are found in the readme file. So with that being said, let's open our project in VS Code and get started. So now that I open my project, we're going to go ahead and start in our Strapi application first. I'm going to grab this code snippet. This is based on our documentation boilerplate. And we're going to go ahead and copy. And back in our code editor, navigate to server inside our config folder, admin. And right here at the bottom, let's go ahead and paste it in. Now that we have our preview code, we need to go ahead and add our preview secret environmental variables. So in our server project, let's navigate to our .env file. And we're going to add the two following environmental variables. And we want to add the client URL, which is going to be our front end project, and preview secret, which could be any string of a secret text. For now, I'm just going to use your secret, but you definitely want to use a generator to generate a proper string of random characters. And just to quickly review, in this preview, we set enable to true. Make sure we set this allow origins to point to our client URL. And then we add a handler, which will basically look through all of our documents. And we only want the slug. Once we get the slug, we go ahead and generate a preview URL that we return for our Strapi application to be able to use. Now that's done, let's go ahead and start our Strapi server by running yarn dev. And once it starts, back in on article section, notice that we have our preview. If I click on it, though, we're going to say local host refused to connect. That's because my front end is not yet running. And even if it was, let me just start it up quickly. And we refresh. We're going to have this blank page because we didn't set up the mechanism to allow us to handle this preview feature. So now what we're going to do in our Next.js application, we're going to set up our round handler to handle our preview functionality from our front end. And we're going to use our draft mode that we talked about previously from Next.js. So let's go ahead and do that now. So now we're going to navigate to our client project, which is your front end. This will be your Next.js application. We're going to go inside the app folder, and we're going to create a new folder called API with another folder preview. This is going to be a route. And inside here, we're going to create a new file called route.ts. And this is going to be the route that our Strapi application is going to navigate to to get the preview uh, render from our Next.js application. So I'm going to go ahead and use this code snippet so you don't have to watch me type. But this is going to allow Strapi to hit this route and generate the preview for our content that we want to see inside our Strapi application. So go ahead and click Copy. And let's go ahead and paste it. And we're going to quickly look at the code here. Here we have a function called get preview path. This is going to go ahead and generate the path for the content type that we want to preview the content for. Here we are saying we want to get all the articles, but you could easily add any other content types. For instance, if you had pages, you could add them like so. And then we're going to go ahead and generate the path that our Strapi application will be able to use to generate the appropriate content. In our actual response, when we make a request, we're going to have params, which is going to include our secret, slug, UID status, and locale. And what we're going to do, we're going to check first that the secret token exists. And then we're going to get the appropriate uh, content type in order to generate our preview path. And once we have that preview path, we're going to go ahead and redirect to that URL to generate that content. And here we're 
setting the draft either to draft or publish. And this is something we're going to use to get this from our front end. So now that we have this, the last change we have to make is navigate to our actual articles and inside articles.slug in the page.tsx file. And here we're going to use our Next.js draft to get the status of the draft and pass it to our get article by slug. So we could either get the article in a draft state or published state. So let's go ahead and do that now. So first thing I'm going to do is import the draft mode from Next.js headers. Then here on line 14, we're going to go ahead and we're going to call our draft mode function to see if the draft mode is enabled. And we're going to use that to set up our status, which could be either draft or published. And we're going to go ahead and pass this to our get article by slug. This is going to give you an error because we want to go ahead and make that change inside that function. So go ahead and navigate to our Strapi client that we have here. And here in get articles, we are also going to pass our status is going to be either draft or published. And finally, right after the filters, and here we're going to set the status, which could either be draft and published. Now when we navigate to our Strapi application, we're going to see that we have an invalid token, which makes sense because we did not set this token on our front end yet. So finally, in our front end application, inside the client folder, let's go ahead and create a new file called .env. And we're going to go ahead and add these two variables, our Strapi base URL to show us where our Strapi data is coming from and our preview secret. And notice how our preview secret in our Next.js project, your secret key. And if we take a look here on our server in the .env file, your secret key, they have to match. So make sure that both of these are the same preview secret. And now that this is available, I'm going to restart my front end. And now when we navigate to our Strapi application, we have our published state and we have a draft state. So if I were to go into my article and say that this is draft, and now if I save it, when I go to open preview, notice we have our draft and we have published. So now in this video, we took a look how to set up our preview feature in Strapi 5 and Next.js 15. You actually don't have to use Next.js 15 following a very similar pattern. You could set up a preview in any React, Astro, or even mobile application. You can also check out the README file just in case if you miss something or need some more clarification. It's a great resource that I created for you. And I will also convert this to a blog post to make it easier for others to find. Nice. Now you have a working preview feature. If you want to learn more advanced ways of using the preview feature, I highly recommend you check out this talk by Remy. I'll make sure to link it in the description below. But in this talk, Remy talks about how you can customize your preview feature to allow you to add preview for mobile devices or different responsive web views. So that way, your editor could see any preview on any device in any size that they want. And the cool part, this is something that you're able to customize yourself based on the talk that you'll see here. So I definitely highly recommend that you check it out. Finally, at the start of this video, I did mention the Launchpad project. But if you want to try it out locally and maybe deploy to Strapi Cloud or Vercel, you could check out this blog post that I'll also link in the description called Getting Started with Strapi and XGS. Uh, check it out. If you have any questions, let them, instead of just leaving them in the comments, I would like to invite you to Strapi's Discord open office hours that we have Monday through Friday, 12.30 PM CST time. It's a lot easier for us to answer questions in person and talking to you live than trying to keep up with all the comments here. But I still will try to take a look at the comments and answer any questions that I can. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.